So Adam, this is the this is actually the book with all the fabric samples. Yes. Yeah, wow, so, so how many? Oh, so we've got about 60 fabrics in here and about 20 designs, um, but in three different colourways each design, roughly. Um, that's something we always do. We often do different colourways of the design, so we sort of communicate a different mood and a feel with colour. Um, colour's like a very important thing to us at Liberty, and I think there's a, you can get a really different feeling for, from the same design by using a different colour. This is pure 4K, this design, the, the, this, or is this another? This, this is another design from our archive, again from the Bernard Neville era of our archive. And actually this, um, within our archive we have everything we do as a design studio. So we have all of our scarves, for example, from, from when we first started creating scarves. And this was, the, actually this design was originally the centre of a scarf. So it was the centre of a much bigger scarf. And we just took that centralised area of pattern and then created a repeat with it. And, um, and so that now can become a dress. So that now can become a dress fabric. And it's and like a cutout. It's like a paper cutout. It makes me wonder if Neville wasn't also looking at Matisse and well jazz and, yeah. and, and the Matisse cutouts. Yeah, and, and that I, tearing of paper. And he prob- just, yeah, I can totally imagine he probably was. You know, there was the. the, the the interesting thing with um, a lot with all of our fabrics is actually the repeat element. So it's how to create movement and how to create repeats that sort of have a movement to them. Could you have actually translated that design into a fabric as? convincing as this one say 15 years ago would that have been possible i think um i think it it could be done i think our technology has obviously got more and more advanced so i think that to create this level of detail wouldn't would have been trickier um i think if you were to create this with screen for example though it would be incredibly different i think you know you'd have to with screen printing you can go up to about 12 colors And the whole thing when you're creating a screen print is each colour really has to sort of work for itself. You know, like it has to sort of do something. And so you could you couldn't create something. You know, when you've got like sort of like hundred or something greens in there, you know, that would be impossible. (laughs) So so yeah, so really the that is a big that part of this collection really as well, is celebrating our capabilities in how we create Ooh, we print. Um, and then you and then we shift scale. Yeah, so yeah. scale's a really important thing for us and like what we often do or what we always do with our fashion fabrics is really look at the scale on a body and like really think about the proportion of scale to the to the figure. It strikes and, me as very musical. I mean you know the, all like variations on a theme, you know, or bar. Yeah. You think it's then it's yeah. slow, then it's quick. And that's what you're doing. You're taking the same essential pattern or structure. It's visual, not yes. musical. Yes, yeah, but. absolutely. It is like a piece of music. They are, they are. Um, you know, each repeat has its own rhythm. That's a really each pattern. Sorry, has its own rhythm. That's a really sort of important thing. I think you know, like when you're designing a print. Th- th- I think a print takes on a personality and it's like, what do you want that personality to feel like? 